Hi guys, welcome to our contractions lesson. Today we're going to have a bit of a review on what are contractions. Well, contractions are two words that are put together. And really what contractions are are the short form or like I've got here, the um, quick way of putting two words together. So when you write a contraction, you use something called an apostrophe. And apostrophes are used because they have a special job. They take the place of all the letters that get left out when we make contractions. So let's have a look at some examples of how contractions work. When making a contraction, if you use the word not, there's a special thing that happens. So I've got an example here, do not. If we wanted to make a contraction out of the words do and not, if we're using the word not, we usually get rid of the O and replace that with a contraction. So it would turn into don't. We keep the D, we keep the O, and we've kept the N, then we've replaced the O with an apostrophe and kept the T and now it becomes one word, don't. From do not to the contraction don't. If we're using the contraction, the word is for contractions, something special ha happens as well. We get rid of the I and replace the I with an apostrophe. So what is would become what, because we've replaced the I with the apostrophe and we've joined the two words together. Here's some other examples. Who is would become whose and where is would become where's. When we're making contractions using the word have, something a little bit different happens. This time, two letters get replaced by the apostrophe. The letters H and A get replaced. So, for example, if we had the two words could and have, we need to replace the H and the A with the apostrophe and join the two words together. So that would make could have. We've replaced the H and the A with an apostrophe and we've brought the two words together. Another example of this is the word would have from the two words would and have. When we use the word will to make apostrophes, it, the same thing happens for it as well. It, uses, it loses two letters to the apostrophe. So the W and the I get replaced by the apostrophe this time. So if we have they will, we have to join the two words together and the W and the I get replaced by the apostrophe. So that had become they'll. Some other examples of this one when using will with contractions are that'll from that will and who'll as in who will. And if using the word would for contractions, something happens even more with the word would. We lose the letters W, O, U, and L by the apostrophe. The apostrophe replaces all four letters. So if we had they would, we have to compi combine the two words and get rid of the W, O, U, L. That would turn into the word they'd. So when we're working with contractions, there's a couple of things we need to remember. Number one, a contraction is one word made from two words, so putting two words together. The first word usually stays the same, and then certain letters are taken out of the second word. And those letters that are taken out of the second word uh, replaced by an apostrophe. So an apostrophe will fill the space of the missing letters. 
that's it for contractions.